Let's implement Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm. We're given a weighted directed graph and a starting vertex, and we want to return the shortest distance from that starting vertex to every other vertex in the graph. So it's the textbook Dijkstra's algorithm problem. There's a few parameters for our function, n, the number of vertices in the graph, edges, which is a list of tuples, containing the source vertex, the destination vertex, and the weight, as well as a source node, which is going to be one of the nodes that we're starting from. And keep in mind that every vertex or node is labeled from zero to n minus one, and n is of course a parameter. Now it's possible that a vertex is not able to reach certain vertices. And for those vertices, like if from the source node we can't reach them, then we return negative one for those. So quickly looking at the example here, you can see given these inputs, we return the output in the shape of a hash map where we say starting from zero, which is our source node, the distance to reach zero is of course zero. And then from our source node to reach node one, the distance is seven. For the source node to reach two, the distance is three, et cetera, et cetera. So now let's get into the problem. And the first thing you wanna do usually is to take the edges and convert it into an adjacency list. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna to try to not make this code super Pythonic. So I'm going to just iterate n times and for every single node or vertex i'm gonna say let's map it to an empty list then i'm gonna go a step further and i'm gonna go through all the edges so the source destination and weight in every single edge and for every single uh, source node we're gonna map it to the destination node but we're actually gonna add a tuple here because or rather an array because we don't only want the destination node, we also want the weight of the destination node. So next, we are going to return ultimately a hash map. Let's declare that hash map now. It's going to be empty. It's going to be shortest. We could call it result or something else if we want to, but it's not a big deal. And for this hash map, we're going to map a vertex to the distance of the shortest path. And this is ultimately what we want to return. But we do have to populate it. And Dijkstra's algorithm is a greedy breadth first search algorithm where we are starting at the source node, which is given to us. And then from there, we're going to do a breadth first search, always taking the edge that has the total shortest path. So for us to prioritize based on the distance of each path, we're going to use a minimum heap and we're going to initialize it with a tuple and that's going to be zero and the source node. What this means is from the source node, what is the total distance it's going to take to reach the source node? That's zero. And this is the node at that like distance. So now we can actually get into the breadth first search while our min heap is non empty. We now have a starting point. That's what this was for. Basically a starting point for us to run the BFS and every single iteration we're going to pop from the heap. So we're going to do heap Q dot heap pop. That's just how you do it in Python. And when we pop, we're going to get two values that we're going to unpack here and we're going to call them weight one and node one, or you could say vertex one, doesn't really matter. Now it's possible that we already visited this node. And if we did that, it will probably be stored in our shortest path hash map. So let's check if N1 is in shortest, then let's continue to the next iteration of the loop. We already found the shortest path for that node. We don't need to run BFS from that node again. So just skip it. Now, if that's not the case, then we say, okay, shortest for N1, this is the total distance it took to reach this node. And then we're going to continue running BFS. We're going to go through all the neighbors of this node. I'm going to call them N2 and W2 because they are also edges. We're unpacking these two values that we added to our adjacency list for the N1 node. And for each of these, we want to run heap Q dot heap push this time to the min heap, this pair of values, the total weight it takes to reach this node. What is that? It's not just 
W2, believe it or not, we also have to add weight one to that, assuming that weight one was the total weight it took us to reach N1, then add weight two, and this is gonna be the total weight it took us to reach N2. The second one is gonna be the node itself, and then we're almost done, but there's one catch here. What if N2 is already visited? Should we add it to the heap? There's no point. So let's say if N2 is not in shortest, then only execute this. That's pretty much it for Dijkstra's algorithm, actually. The only thing left for us to do at this point is what if with this breadth for search, there are certain nodes that we just didn't visit? Remember, we're supposed to assign those nodes a distance of negative one. So let's just go through all the nodes. We can do that by doing this, I in range N, just like we did up above here. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna say, if I is not already in the hash map, let's add it to the hash map, and let's give it a value of negative one. So that's actually the entire code. Okay, there's actually a very, very subtle bug, and that is with the naming. So here we actually ended up reassigning the source variable, even though it was a parameter. So to fix that, I'm gonna quickly make this S, I'm gonna make this D, and that should fix it. So now let's run the code. And now it actually is accepted. Really sorry about that. Logically, everything was correct, but you do have to be careful about variable names, I guess. So I'll go ahead and leave things there.